from famine to feast. Some people can't seem to get a job offer no matter how hard they try. And I've known others who have to decide between which of two offers to accept. How do you weigh a small salary increase against a greater opportunity versus a lot more money before a status quo job? Today, we talk about comparing two job offers. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Well, you begin by making sure that you have a full understanding of each offer. This is important. Get offers in writing. You know, if you just get an offer over the telephone, let's say, you know, you might misunderstand something. The person on the other end may misstate something. It's always best if somebody makes you an offer over the phone, you say to them, I really need to get that in writing so I can think about it. So that's a really important step. Then create a spreadsheet in which the top columns list the companies. Along the left side, list the different elements of the job. That'll include like salary and work hours, employee contributions to health insurance, and the type of insurance you'll receive. Also list any bonuses that you'll be eligible for, the number of vacation and sick days and other perks. You should also list things that go beyond the items in your job offer. Describe in each column how each job fits your overall career plan and things like the length of your commute, if that's important to you. Ask yourself if one job will have more opportunities for growth than the other one, and which one offers you the chance to learn new skills. Because you probably spent time at the company and met some of the other staff members, use your gut to gauge your comfort level with the overall work environment and the employees. Now, sometimes the HR manager might even allow you to talk to some of the employees if you want to ask them questions about the company's culture. How do the two managers compare? Do you get a sense that one or the other will be better to work with? And who will teach you more? Take some time to honestly evaluate your job offers. Some companies might raise questions for you, which you then need to reach back out to them, to their human resource department to get some answers. The reality check will also force you to ask yourself what really matters to you about a new job. Not everyone is the same. So for some, a fancy corner office and a salary to match is what's really important. But to others, they're just happy to take a maybe a lower salary in exchange for less stress and the ability to work on their own schedule. If after all of that soul searching, you feel a pull to one or another, but there are some elements of that offer that raise questions, it doesn't hurt to try to negotiate a better deal. Some things are easier to negotiate than other things. If you can't get more money, you might be able to ask for a signing bonus. Companies are also likely to consider an upgrade in a title or some more money for training. At the end of the day, you are the only one who can make the decision. It's quite likely that your comparison chart will make your choice a little bit easier. Looking for a job can be very tricky. Look, I have reviewed thousands of applications in my career. So one of the things that I've learned over time is what makes an application stand out. I put all of my ideas and tips together in an online course called Getting the Job You Want. Check it out. I know it'll help you be more successful when you are searching for a new job. Getting the Job You Want, my online class. Find out more information at my website, Dave Edwards Media, and click on courses.